Welcome back kindergartners. This is Mrs. Miller here with social studies lesson number three. In this lesson, we will be talking about a very special topic. In our last lesson, we talked about how each of us is unique. In fact, we even made a book called I Am Unique. Well, our families are also unique, so that's what we'll be talking about today. Families are the same and different, just like we are the same and different. Families have all different family members. Some families are big, some families are small. Some families look the same as each other. Some look different from each other. Some families adopt children. Some families have their own children. So families are all unique in their own special way. I have a wonderful book that I would like to share with you. It's called The Family Book. It's written by Todd Parr. This book talks more about the way that families can be different or the same as each other. So right now, I want you to pause this video and then you can click on the blue button up in the top right hand corner. If you don't see the blue button, just take your mouse and toggle over the screen and it should show up. Press that blue button to listen to the family book. When we come back, we'll talk about some of the ways that families could be the same or different from each other. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that book. It's one of my favorites. So now, across your fingers, can you name some of the ways that families could be the same or different from each other? Ready, set, go. One, two, three, eyes on me. So let's see if you came up with any of the same ideas that I came up with. There was so much about families in that book. Well, let's see, some families are big, some families are small, some families are noisy, some families are quiet. All families like to celebrate together, right? And something else I'd, I'd add is all families share love. Can you think what family members might there be in a family? Hmm, I'll start. Maybe there's a mom and a dad. Maybe there's a brother and a sister. Maybe there are cousins. Can you keep going? What other family members can you name that there might be in a family? See how many you can come up with. I'll give you 10 seconds. Ready, set, go. Okay, let's see if you came up with any of the family members that I came up with. There could be a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister, cousins, aunts, uncles. Did you say that? What else? Grandmothers, grandfathers, if you're really lucky, great grandmothers and great grandfathers. Stepmother, a stepfather, a foster mother, a foster father. There can be so many family members in a family, so many different family members. This is my family. This is me, this is my husband, and this is the baby that's in my belly. He should be born any day now. We can't wait to meet him. Who are the members of your family? Who do you live with? Right now, in my house, it's just me and my husband. Soon, we'll have a baby boy. When I was growing up, 
my family and my house look different than it does now. When I was a kid, I lived with my mom, my grandma, and my grandpa. Who do you live with? Who are the members of your family? Maybe you live with your mom or your dad or both. Maybe you live with one or both of your grandparents. Maybe you live with an aunt or an uncle or a cousin. Maybe you have two moms. Maybe you have two dads. What does your family look like? Go ahead right now and I want you to whisper into your hands what who the members of your family are. Ready, set, go. Thank you for sharing. Now it's time for you to create a very special book called Who is in My Family? If you're learning from home, you'll find this book in your Google Classroom. And if you're learning from school, your teacher will give it to you. On the first page, it says, Who is my family? And then it says the word by. Right next to the word by, you'll write your name. This first page says, I am in my family. So who do you think you'll draw a picture of here? Yeah, that's right, you'll draw a picture of yourself. On the next page, it says, my blank is in my family. So maybe you have a brother in your family. You would write, my brother is in my family and draw a picture of your brother. The next page again says, my blank is in my family. Is your mom in your family? If your mom's in your family, you could say my mom is in my family and draw a picture of your mom. Okay, and we have lots of pages that have the same sentence. If you need more pages, if you're learning from home, you can just print a second copy of this book. And if you're learning in school, you can ask your teacher for more pages to add to your book so you can include everyone in your family. Because remember, some families are small, like my family's pretty small right now. It's about to get a little bit bigger. <laughs> but some families are really big. So as many pages as you need to give everyone in your family a page, you can have. And then on the very last page, it says, I love my family. On this page, you're going to draw a picture of your whole entire family. So pause the video here, work on your book all about your family. I want you to make it really beautiful. You can color it in using crayons or markers. And then if you have time left, I have another special book I'd like to share with you. Okay, so you can pause the video here, work on your book, and if there's time, come back for more. Welcome back, kindergartners. Did you finish making your family book? Give me a double thumbs up if you finished. Awesome. So now we have another special book to listen to. It's called My Family, Your Family, Our Families. And it was made into a song. It's a pretty catchy song. In fact, it gets in, in my head. And I've been singing it all day. But I hope that you enjoy it as much as I did. And I want you to really listen to the lyrics because it talks about how every family is special and unique. I hope you enjoy it. Families by Emma Carlson Byrne. Illustrations by Joni Stone. Music by Mark Oblinger. This is my mother. This is my father. We live together in one place. I have a brother. Here is my sister. All is one. We share this place. Families are made up of special people Somehow 
have many, some have few. They share a home and they help each other. Families care for me and you. My house is home to a lot of people. Mom and Dad and Nana too. My grandpa lives here, so does my auntie and my cousins. I have a few. Families are made up of special people. Some have many, some have few. They share a home and they help each other. Families care for me and you. My family has just three people in it. Me and grandma and granddad. My friend, he lives with his foster mother. She gives him hugs when he is sad. Families are made up of special people. Some have many, some have few. They share a home and they help each other. Families care for me and you. My mom lives with me, my dad lives elsewhere. We have two homes where we belong. Sometimes it's hard, but we love each other. And we keep our family strong. Families are made up of special people. Some have many, some have few. They share a home and they help each other. Families care for me and you. They share a home and they help each other. Families care for me and you. Families care for me and you. I hope you enjoyed that song and that book as much as I did. It was so much fun learning with you today as always. I hope you have a wonderful day everybody. Bye bye!